Thank you for coming back. My name is Mike Cluett. I am the regional counselor for Ward 3 here in the town of Milton. And you're watching your TV, Truly Local Television, and the show is called Local Matters. The show is here to is designed to let you know what's going on here in the town of Milton, how you can get involved and be part of your community, and learn a little bit more about the community leaders that we have here in uh, the town of Milton and in North Halton as well. Uh, tonight, today, right now, we have uh, Councillor Samira Ali, who is the local councillor for Ward Four, recently elected and uh, first in her first year of term, and uh, getting a lot of things done in uh, the, in the town and in her ward. So. There is a lot of things happening in Ward 4. Yes. Uh, before the ward boundary changes, I was a regional councillor who went from southern part of Derry, yeah. from the 407, okay. all the way out to Tremaine Road. Yeah. I called it the fastest growing region, the fastest growing wards of the fastest growing town. Yeah. You are now the local councillor in the fastest growing ward, uh, as you can see by the, uh, the, the houses that are being mm -hmm. built, uh, all the infrastructure that's being built. Uh, throughout uh, Ward 4 so you're going crazy it's moving back my way so I got a little yeah. bit of a break uh, but there's a lot of things happening yes. uh, from uh, from homes uh, and everything else what do you see as, as your top uh, item or, or worry I guess that uh, yeah. of, of what's happening in Ward 4 uh, well you're right about the growth um, actually if you look in the Boyne survey area of uh, my ward, which is south of Louis St. Laurent, north of uh, Britannia, and uh, west of uh, Regional Road 25, we will have 12,000 more residents by next year there. 12,000. And when I was knocking on doors, we had around 11,000. So I'm basically literally going to double, um, mm -hmm. you know, the red number of residents in my ward. And of course, uh, with growth, there are challenges. Um, our top challenge will continue to be traffic management. And a lot of it will have to do with the Britannia widening as well, mm -hmm. which is something I, I, I know my regional counterpart, Councillor Hamid, will discuss with you when he's on your show. Uh, but it is safe to say that traffic will be one of the top concerns in my ward. And, uh, but I feel, I feel with, with the way I have worked with staff, I feel like we are ready to deal with any challenges that come our way, as long as the province cooperates, <laughs> uh, which is, you know, in any case, it's, it's never a standard or a given. Uh, no. it's, it's fluid. So having said that, at the, at the town level, I can tell you that we are ready. And uh, we have uh, growth coming in on, at the top of my ward, I call it, because it's mm. Derry and Bronte, that area. Uh, it's the Howland Green project. It mm -hmm. is a six-story um, project with 132 unit apartments, I believe. And uh, that, too, is coming in my ward. Again, traffic will be an issue there as well. So uh, the challenge for me as a counselor, especially a local counselor, to keep my eyes open and ears open um, and be available to residents when they have any issues that come up around the traffic and uh, development, mm -hmm. especially development. Sometimes developers, um, when, they are, when they're in the process of development, they, uh, because they have so many external contractors, they're not uh, able to provide proper timelines that delays everything else that mm -hmm. needs to go in that area. It could be curbs, it could be roundabouts, it could be parks. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is hard for residents to know these things unless someone like me goes out and educates them on it. So that will continue to be my challenge, but I'm up for it. I continuously try to upgrade my knowledge in this area. I work with staff, uh, with especially my urban planning staff. Mm -hmm. I attended a lot of good workshops at the recent FCM conference where mm -hmm. you and I both were in attendance. And um, yes, I, I see the challenges, but I also believe that, you know, uh, our town, including myself, we are ready. Yep. We, uh, we're also looking at uh, a lot of the future development that's coming in. We'll have a lot of applications uh, in and around Main Street, uh, just to the north of us, but also uh, Darien, Ontario. There's yes. another proposal there. So what we're trying to and hope for, and again, this is the managing expectations. Yes. We're going to start seeing more and more of these higher level uh, Vertical developments growth. happen. Vertical growth as opposed to yes. uh, reaching out because uh, obviously with intensification targets from the province, uh, ever increasing places to grow and, and and everything else, we're we're forced to also grow up 
as opposed to uh, growing out. So, and I, I know that a lot of that's is going to start happening in your area. It's yes. going to happen in the southern part of Milton. So again, managing expectations Absolutely. on that. But as we continue to bring in more and more people, there obviously there's younger families. Yes. Um, I've always said that uh, we have two growing demographics in our community. One is uh, obvi obviously the youth. Our young people, one third of our population is under the oh, age of 18, uh, and then we also have our seniors. But what we find it works in conjunction with everybody is is having making sure that we continue with our park development. Yes. Uh, and I know that's a big issue when yes. families are moving in. Where do we go? How do we, you know where where you know where is our parks? And we're trying our best to sort of create. Uh, and I, I hate, I'll use the word again: complete community. Complete and, community. And uh, so that way you, you live, work, and and relax and play all within walking distance of each other. Absolutely. So I know that you uh, have been dealing a lot with uh, with parks in your wards because obviously they're being constructed as we speak. Yes. Uh, where do you see that going, like uh, the, the, the progress? Yeah. Um, so when I was knocking on doors in fall last year, biggest concern for my residents was parks, lack of parks, especially in the south of Louis Saint Laurent area. And uh, as soon as I became a counselor, I got together with staff who were really helpful. And I said, this is a major pain point for the residents in the town of Milton. And our job is to provide the service and fill the gaps they need to be fill filled because these are the people who pay the taxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that we are doing them a favor. We are just doing our job that needs to be done. So staff was really helpful. We got together. and. Uh, I got to know that there are some projects in the pipeline and just recently um, my uh, commissioner who deals with parks, she sent me a map that I asked her to create because it's hard for me to explain in a long winded post what mm. is coming up uh, as opposed to a, a map that shows where the parks are coming up. So that was done. Uh, thank you so much to the staff and uh, it was very well received. Everybody appreciated that so much because on the map they can see where the village squares are coming, where the neighborhood parks are coming, where the community parks are coming. I, uh, would I like to have more? Absolutely yes. Uh, but right now I am happy that something is being done. And uh, recently I was at Harrison Park, which is uh, at 364 Nakerville Crescent, mm -hmm. right on Savaline. If you're driving towards LSL, just uh, make a left on Nakerville and you will find it there. That park has been a long time coming, around six to seven years it took mm -hmm. them, but they finally did it. The reason it took that long, a lot of people don't know, is because there's three developers involved in that park. Yeah. And that park is basically, it's in a triangle shape. <laughs> if you look at it, it's because there's one development on this side, one on this side, one on this side. These three had to work together and sometimes it can be a situation of how you will deal with, you know, a pot of spaghetti and three kids. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> there's, the, there's the kid reference. Hey, here. I'm a mom. There we go. And uh, so it took a little while, but it's a beautiful park. You can go on my uh, Facebook page, Counselor Samira Ali, and you will see I've done a live on location with my staff explaining the features of the park and the accessibility points of the park. It is beautiful. It is open for everybody to enjoy. No matter what part of Milton you live in, come on down to our new park, enjoy it. And uh, I would actually encourage the north of the Milton to come down and enjoy the parks in the south of Milton and see how you like it. Because honestly, if it's north or south or east or west, we're all Miltonians. And uh, anything new that comes to any part of our town should be celebrated by all of us. Um, and uh, having said that, I also wanted to bring up the new cricket pitch mm -hmm. um, in uh, the Optimist Park of my ward, which is something I'm going to really quickly touch on. It was a need in the community, the local cricket players, they got together with staff, worked together, and instead of adding a pitch to a new park but which was coming up, which would essentially take staff back to the drawing board um, to create this pitch, they looked at the existing parks found a spot, worked with the local cricketers, and created something that would really fill that grab. And this is who we are as Milton. We are a place of possibility. We make things possible. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been over the, uh, the last number of years uh, developing what we call our master plan. So there's different areas of town where we have master plans, and this was part of our community services master plan where we had went out to the public. Yeah. They had their say. They, they said, this is what we want in our, in our community parks, in our neighborhood yes. parks. 
and as well uh, throughout the community because obviously sporting, uh, we, we're, we're trying to have that active, yes. active lifestyle. Uh, lifestyle. So again, building the parks, building the trails that lead to the parks. Uh, but again, this is the importance of getting involved and that's why we talk about Let's Talk Milton.ca uh, as being that conduit uh, as well as working with the councillors. Yes. Uh, because if it wasn't for that community services master plan, if it wasn't for the, the public's involvement in there, yes. there wouldn't have been such a drive for yes. it. And now, you know, we're, we're very lucky now we have two cricket pitches yes. uh, in a, in a fast-growing municipality and I know that there's more to come as well so uh, in, in finding creative ways because again yeah. that wasn't planned no that was wasn't. not planned and to be able to see something that okay we've been able to adapt we've been able to change yes. that just shows the uh, the flexibility here that yes. we have in the town and again the importance of, uh, of staying involved Absolutely. Uh, in there so we're, we're, we're so happy that we have these cricket pitches uh, like I said it's a growing thing you know you and I have been you have uh, throughout your life have been involved in cricket I've uh, <laughs> uh, just recently been involved in, uh, in a local organization as yes. well it's a fantastic sport it is. and it really does bring our community together so we're, we're getting up to the end of the show and I, and I always told you that this, we can talk forever about yes. some of these things so we've talked about the uh, uh, you know the, the changes that are happening to Milton, uh, the good things that are happening here uh, through parks and the development. What does Samira Ali want to do for the rest? I, I know we're at the beginning part of the term and we still have three and a half years left. <laughs> yes. What mark does Samira Ali want to have on Ward 4? I want to empower my residents and that is going to be my legacy. I want to empower my residents. I want them to feel proud to belong to Ward 4 of Milton and Milton in general. And this is what I'm working towards. Everything I do, I want people to know that it is within their power to bring about change. If they don't like how their neighbor parks on the street, they have the power to get that fixed. They just need to know how to do it. And that's where I come in, in letting them know how to do it and helping them do it. So that is going to be my legacy.